So we are going to do the 2020 AMC 12A problem 17. The vertices of a quadrilateral lie on the graph of y equals natural log x, and the x coordinates of these vertices are consecutive positive integers. The area of the quadrilateral is natural log of 91 over 90. What is the x coordinate of the leftmost vertex? Now in order to do this problem, we're going to need to learn an important method for calculating the area of a polygon. In this case, we're looking at a quadrilateral, and that is called the shoelace method. The shoelace method is awesome, and if you have not seen it yet, you should definitely watch this video through to the end just so you can see how that works. To start out, let's take a look at the graph that we're working with. We know we have the natural log of x, which is gonna start down at negative infinity, go up to zero, and then increase off like that. We're going to pick four positive integers on this graph. One, two, three, four consecutive positive integers. And we're going to construct a quadrilateral out of those four points. Now each of these points is going to have some coordinates. Let's call the leftmost x coordinate n because we're trying to figure out that x coordinate of the leftmost vertex. So this first point will be n natural log n. Then we're going to have n plus 1, natural log n plus 1, n plus 2, natural log n plus 2, and this last point here, n plus 3, natural log n plus 3. And just by knowing the coordinates of those four points, which are the vertices of our quadrilateral, we can actually use the shoelace method to find the exact area of the quadrilateral with those vertices. Here's how it works. We're going to start off writing down these coordinates. We're going to pick an initial point. In this case, I'm going to choose n natural log n. So we'll have the x coordinates on the left, y coordinates on the right. And then we're going to go counterclockwise around the shape. So next, as we go counterclockwise, we're going to have n plus 3 natural log n plus 3. Then after that, we're going to have n plus 2 natural log n plus 2 as we continue going counterclockwise, and finally n plus 1, natural log n plus 1. The last thing I'm going to write here is the same coordinates that we had on the top one more time on the bottom. So we have n natural log n. And now that we're here, we're going to start making some shoelaces. Let's make our first one at the top right here. That's going to be a cross between these first four entries along these two diagonals. What we're going to do with that cross is multiply each of the numbers at the ends of the diagonals. So first, we're going to have n times the natural log of n plus 3. That's this diagonal going down. And then we have a second diagonal this direction that we're going to subtract n plus 3 times natural log of n. Then after that, we're going to go to the next shoelace, that next set of entries, and that's going to be plus n plus 3 natural log n plus 2, and then minus n plus 2 natural log of n plus 3. Then we're going to go to the next shoelaces that I drew in here. It's going to be a plus n plus 2 times natural log n plus 1. That's this first diagonal. And then the second diagonal is going to be minus n plus 1 natural log n plus 2. And then we have one more set of shoelaces right here, plus n plus 1 natural log n, and then minus n times the natural log of n plus 1. And the final step is that after we've written all this out, our result is going to be 1 half of what we get. So it's going to be 1 half of everything that we just wrote out. That is the area of the quadrilateral. So now let's take a look at the cancellation that's happening here. First of all, every one of these columns is having the same natural log right here multiplied, so we can cancel stuff out. First, we have n minus n plus 2. So that's going to give us 1 half of negative 2 natural log n plus 3. And then after that, natural log n. Notice we have a minus n plus 3 plus n plus 1. Well, that's going to leave us, again, minus 2 natural log of n. And then next here we have n plus 3 minus n plus 1. That's going to be a plus 2 
natural log n plus 2, and then n plus 2 minus n is again a plus 2, natural log n plus 1. We have a 2 in everything, and that's going to cancel with this 1 half. Now what we want to do is group the natural logs together. Remember, when we have two natural logs added together, that's the same as the natural log of n plus 2 times n plus 1. We can put their inputs together and multiply them. On the other hand, when we subtract one natural log from the other, that second input is going to go in the denominator. So when we expand everything we have right here, remember we don't have to worry about any of the 2's, but this is going to equal, on the top we'll have natural log of n plus 2 times n plus 1, because those are both positive at the start. And then on the denominator, we're going to divide inside of this natural log by these two inputs, n plus 3 and n, because those were both negative where we started out. That's the area for an arbitrary integer n. We want that to equal the natural log of 91 over 90. Of course, for this to be true, we can cancel out the natural logs. We know that this inside is going to have to be the same in both cases. So what we need to do now is expand out the expressions that we have on the numerator and the denominator right here. If we expand out the top n plus 2 times n plus 1, that's going to give us n squared plus 3n plus 2. On the bottom, n plus 3 times n, that's n squared plus 3n. And that equals 91 over 90, since we canceled out the natural logs. Now what we can do from here is multiply both sides of this equation by 90 times n squared plus 3n, to get everything out of the denominator. What that's going to give us on the left side, we'll have 90 times n squared plus 3n plus 2. I'm going to take that final 2 times 90 out as a plus 180. On the right side of the equation, we're going to have 91 times n squared plus 3n. We can also write that as 90 times n squared plus 3n, and then plus another n squared plus 3n to get us to 91. From here, notice on both sides of the equation, we have 90 times n squared plus 3n. So that, again, is going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with 180 equals n squared plus 3n. This is a simple quadratic equation in terms of n, so I'm not going to go through the steps of solving it, but I'll tell you that we get two solutions, n equals 12 and negative 15. Obviously, because we're looking at consecutive positive integers, we can't have n be negative 15. That doesn't make any sense. So therefore, our final solution is n equals 12. So the way that we got here is by using this shoelace formula to find the area of a quadrilateral in terms of a very weird natural log function we were trying to figure out. This shoelace formula that I showed at the beginning of the video is super useful because we can apply it any time we want to find the area of a polygon that has coordinates in the xy plane. In this case, those coordinates were some integer and then the natural log of that integer, but any set of coordinates in the 2D plane will allow us to use that shoelace formula to find the area, and then we can get to our answer just like this.